Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have got a pretty big summer new in Zara haul. It's been a couple of months since my last one. Honestly, I think this might just be my favourite haul I've ever done. I'm obsessed with everything. I had a quick look at everything when I was getting it out of the box. Haven't tried any of these on yet, so I'm really excited. Honestly, I just love everything. Literally love everything. I'm excited. So yeah, let's just jump right in. So first up, I've bought this white sleeveless top. As you can probably tell, I'm absolutely obsessed with this trend this year. I've got a black one, I've got a grey one. I did have a white one, but it just wasn't very good quality. So I thought, I saw this on Zara and I thought, yeah, I'll go for it. So this is the one I went for. It looks quite wide looking at it on here. This is a size small, so I did stay true to size. So size small is probably about an eight to 10. Um, but yeah, it does look wide, but I'm hoping that's just because it's oversized. So once I, you know, took it into some jeans like I have with this one, I think it might look all right. Um, and how much was this? This was 12 99 which is so good. The only thing that's a bit different about these ones is in the mango ones that I've got now, they have got quite a bit of padding in the shoulders. These ones don't really have that padding. They are um, just more of a sort of thick cotton material. But yeah, I'm going to see what it's like on. I think I'm going to like it anyway. I love, as I said, I love this trend. I love these kind of tops. I really like how long the shoulders are on it. So I think that's going to kind of sit just off the shoulder and be quite flattering. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. I'm probably going to get a few of these in different colours. I really hope Zara do some nice pastel colours in these as well. Usually with Zara, if one of their basic pieces does well, give it a month and usually it's on there in loads of different colours. So I'm hoping that's going to be the case with this one. So yeah, that was my first item. And then next up, I've got some jeans. So these are, let's just get them off the hanger. So these are in the most gorgeous bleach wash denim. And they are sort of, I wouldn't even say, I wouldn't go as far to say they're, they're wide leg. I'd say they're more straight leg jeans. So I'm just hoping that they are going to almost brush the floor because I'm five foot eight. So sometimes finding jeans that are wide leg or straight leg to actually touch the floor on me is a bit of a challenge. So... Yeah, if you are quite short or quite petite, you might not like these because these do look quite long in the leg, but I suppose you can always have them turned up anyway. Um, I stayed true to size and went for a size 8 um, or a Europe size 36. They're not the widest of legs that I've ever seen though. But no, I do really like them. And as I said, the colour of these is just, it's so, it's such a nice summer bleach colour and these were 29.99 so really not bad for a good pair of jeans they don't feel too stiff they do feel like a really nice quality denim um, but they don't feel too stiff they do feel like you'd still have some movement in them but and the problem is with jeans is uh, you don't really know how good they are until you've actually put them on so i'll insert a cutaway anyway and i'll kind of try and make it obvious if i think they're a bit ill-fitting but no i think i'm really going to love these and i think this paired with that white top tucked in, such a good spring summer outfit. They are my jeans. And then next up, I have honestly the most gorgeous co-ord ever. This is probably the brightest thing I own in my wardrobe at the moment, but it is this gorgeous sort of royal blue, silky, satiny uh, co-ord. So if I just show you the shorts, I'm so glad I was able to get this as a co-ord. So this doesn't come sold as a set. You do have to buy the items separately, which is a little bit annoying, but I managed to get both in my size. So just to show you the shorts, how gorgeous they are. They're a little bit creased. They do need a quick steam, but I wanted to try them on before I actually steamed them. So gorgeous shorts. I've got two little pockets there at the front, high-waisted, stretchy. Can't go wrong really, can you, with those? And then the shirt to match, exactly the same material. Again, it <laughs> does need a little bit of an iron. But again, two pockets there at the front. Um, and with these, I went for a size small in the shirt and a small in the shorts as well. So again, I did stay true to size. The shirt did seem quite oversized on the website. To be honest, I'm glad I stuck with a small because it does seem quite oversized. I don't think I'd have had to go up anymore. Um, and I think these tucked into the shorts will just look gorgeous bit of gold jewelry and um, some white little sandals i think that just look really really nice in summer really nice outfit for a barbecue or even just if you want to just chill in your house with this this is super comfy so yeah i'm really really pleased with this and this is actually the first of three co that i bought so yeah i went a little bit mad on co but 
Zara, honestly, they were just killing it with the cohorts when I went on. I actually went on specifically to buy this one. Um, I think I saw someone on Instagram wearing it, so I went on to get this, and then I ended up with three. So yeah, so as I said, you do have to buy the top and the shorts separately. So the top was $25.99, and the shorts were $19.99, so that's what, 45 quid for the set, which I really don't think is bad at all. It is a really high quality feeling set, and I, know, I can already tell I'm going to love it on. So yeah, that is my first of three cohorts. And then next up we have this really nice little pair of shorts. So I bought these because I actually really, really love the colour of them. I don't have any in this colour and I really like the length of them. So at the moment I'm really loving this kind of vintage wash and like the ripped, sort of distressed looking shorts. They My shorts either have to look like this or they need to be super, super baggy, like proper mom style shorts. But yeah, I didn't have a good pair of this style of shorts. These feel a little bit stiff around the waist. I'd say they are quite a thick denim. They're really good quality actually. And I got these in a size 10. So when I looked for these, they didn't have a size eight. So I did get a 10. Nine times out of 10 when I wear shorts like this, I'll always wear a belt with them anyway. So I'm gonna try those on and hopefully they fit me okay. If they are too big, I wanna be a bit gutted because as I said, I really do love these. But yeah, hopefully I can wear a belt with these and make them work. But yeah, absolutely love them. And these were 17 99 18 quid. So yeah, those are my shorts. And then next up, we've got this really, really nice sort of beige, neutral. It's like, um, it's almost like the racerback bodysuits that Zara do that everyone absolutely loves. But it's just a top version. So I don't always want to wear a bodysuit. You know, you've got a bodysuit on with a pair of jeans and they just kind of irritate you, don't they? Girls, you know what I mean? It, you don't always want something going up your bum in a pair of jeans. So I saw this on there and I thought, you know what, that reminds me just of the bodysuits. Haven't got one in this colour. Thought it was perfect and it would go with so many things. So yeah, just a really nice basic to have. I love Zara basics. I think they're of such good quality. And it was only 7 99 So yeah, I think these are so handy to have in summer. You can chuck them on with anything. Um, and it's this, in this really nice material as well. It's ribbed as well. Uh, and I got a size small as well. So I did stay true to size. So yeah, I definitely won't be sending this back. You can't have too many basics in your wardrobe, let's be honest. Really pleased with that one. And then next up, it is my second cohort of this haul. I'm really sorry, but I loved it. It looks extremely similar to the blue one, but it doesn't have pockets. It's a little bit different. So it is this gorgeous black silky satiny cohort. It's going to be really hard to show you on camera, so I really hope it shows up. If I show you the shorts first, so these are the shorts. They don't have pockets on the front like the other ones. They do have some on the back just for show. They're not real pockets. Again, they're high waisted, really silky. And I thought even this sort of set would be nice for more of a evening sort of thing. I know we're not going out right this second, but hopefully give it a month or two, we will. And then yeah, I got the black silky uh, shirt to match. This is in serious need of an iron, but yeah. Unlike the blue one, doesn't have pockets at the front, it is just buttoned down there. But yeah, I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And these two together, they were just, they were calling my name. This is just me all over. I don't really wear a lot of things that are super fitted. If I do, it will be a top and then I'll have something really sort of baggy on the bottom. I'm not one for bodycon fit dresses or that sort of thing. It just isn't me. But things like this, you know, oversized shirts and shorts. It's just me all over, I absolutely love them. And with these, I'm pretty sure I had to size up in one of them. Yeah, so I got a size small in the shorts, which is my usual size, but then in the shirt, I did have to size up to a medium because they didn't have a small. But it doesn't look too big, to be honest. Mm, does it look quite wide? It does look quite wide. I'll see how that looks on. And again, these were sold separately, not as a set. So the shirt was 19.99. And the shorts were also 19.99, so so 40 quid for both of them. I just can't wait to try these on. So you'll have already seen now in the cutaway what it looks like. So I'm hoping it looks all right. I'm sure I'll let you know by my facial expression on there if I like it. So yeah, that was my black cohort. Next up now, would it really be a Zara haul for me if it didn't include a Disney t-shirt? Every single time I buy a Zara, I end up buying one of their Disney t-shirts. Today is no exception. And I went for this one, but this is a little bit more dark. This is a bit, it's not as 
bright, airy-fairy as some of the Disney t-shirts that they do. It's in this really gorgeous grey colour and then it's got obviously the Mickey logo on the front in this black. It's almost like a felt material, um, so it's not printed on, it is actually in a felt material. And I, honestly, what more can I say about this t-shirt? I loved it, I love their Disney t-shirts, always end up buying one. How much was this one? This was 15 99 so 16 quid. I got this in a large. I would have usually have liked to have got it in an extra large. And I do wish I had because it doesn't look quite as big as I would usually want it to. I'm sure I can still make it work. If not, I'll send it back. But yeah, I do really love my t-shirts. Really, really big on me. And this looks a tiny bit too small. But we'll see. You'll see in the cutaway how it looks. But yeah, can't go on Zara without buying a Disney t-shirt. I'm so sorry. This is the latest one to the collection. Yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, next up, we have another pair of shorts, but this time in black. And you might remember me saying earlier that I only buy shorts that are either vintage, you know, distressed, or big, baggy, mom style. And these are some mom style shorts. So I bought these because I'm, I wanted a pair of black shorts that weren't tight across my thigh. So I want them to kind of hang off me a little bit. And the good thing about mom shorts is they make your legs look super skinny, which is always a bonus. So yeah. I absolutely love these, they're high waisted and they're paper bag shorts as well so they do come up quite high like that so I think these with a black belt will just look unreal even with that Disney t-shirt tucked in what an outfit, it will look so good together um, I stayed true to sizing these and got a size 8 um, and these were 19.99, so 20 quid for a good pair of shorts. These feel quite, um, these are a lot softer than the blue pair of shorts that I've that I showed you earlier um, and as I said they are definitely more of a mom style you can probably already see on there just how sort of wide the legs are so fingers crossed they're not going to be cutting my legs in half I was really desperate for an, a really good black pair of shorts so I'm really happy with these really don't think I'll be sending these back I think they're a really good sort of capsule item to have in your wardrobe for summer they go with so many things you can dress them up dress them down yeah, super happy with them, absolutely love them. And then last but not least, I had to end it on my final co-ord of this haul. I'm sorry it's been a lot of co-ords, but what can I say? I love them. And this is in this gorgeous, sort of like a really neutral champagne-y colour. I don't know if the colour sort of shows properly on camera with the lights. It'll look quite light on camera because I've got lights on me. If I hold it back, you can probably see this sort of nice champagne colour and again everything here was sold separately this set is basically identical to the black set it's just in a different colour so it's the same price all of that same material this one isn't my favourite co-ord out of all of them I just kind of I think I was on a bit of a co-ord hype when I was buying all of this stuff so I just bought this one as well just to see out of the three which one you know I prefer and just looking at them, I definitely prefer the black and the blue. But this is still a really, really gorgeous cohort. I think this would look nicer on someone with darker hair. I don't know if it's because of my blonde hair, but I don't know. It's just kind of throwing me off. But I think someone with really like dark brunette black hair would look really, really lovely in this. I don't know if it is for me, but we'll see. So this was 19 99 for the bottoms, and I got them in a size small, my usual size. And in the top, I got the top in a medium this time at 19.99, so exactly the same as the black set. Um, but yeah, but just from the offset, I do kind of prefer the black set. But let me know what you think out of everything I bought. Which cohort was your favourite, or which item was your favourite? And that's it. That's everything that I bought in my recent Zara haul. So I really hope you liked it. Let me know what you think of the items. Let me know what your favourite was. Let me know what your favourite cohort was. I'm sorry there was three, but yeah. Zara had a lot of really, really nice ones, and there's still another one on there that I really like, so I'm going to try not to buy it. I'm really, really happy with everything that I've bought, to be honest. The only thing I think I probably will be sending back is just the cream cohort. I don't think I need three silk cohorts in my wardrobe. Really? Do I? Do I? No, I definitely don't. So yeah, let me know what your favourite item was. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, and yeah, let me know what other videos you want to see from me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!